हे हाय एंड वेलकम टू द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल व्हिच इज स्केमेटिक एरर्स सो टिल लास्ट टॉपिक वी कंप्लीटेड द स्केमेटिक डिजाइन ऑफ आवर हार्डवेयर एंड दिस टॉपिक इज ऑल अबाउट द एरर्स इन द स्केमेटिक डिजाइन ओके एंड देयर इज एक्चुअली ओनली वन वीडियो इन दिस टॉपिक व्हिच इज अबाउट ट्रबल शूटिंग स्केमेटिक एरर्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू रिजॉल्व द एरर्स इन द स्केमेटिक डिजाइन बिकॉज़ Without resolving the errors, we do not create the layout. Okay, so this is actually very important point. And if we try to do so, you know, if we try to create the layout without resolving the errors, then there will be lot of issues in the layout design, and those issues may reflect in the final manufactured PCB. Okay, that's the reason we should always resolve the errors in the schematic design first. Okay, and later we should start with the layout design. All right. So now let's start with the final video of final topic of this module. So this is basically the schematic that we have already completed. Now let's try to resolve the errors which are there in this particular schematic, okay? Now in order to check what are the errors and what are the warnings in this schematic, you have to go to this particular option which is ERC uh, which actually stands for electrical rule check, okay? So you can see in our schematic there is actually one error and 13 warnings are there okay so i will go through each and every error and each and every warning warning and we will see what is the issue in this schematic so now let me click on this particular error uh, which is basically the only error in this uh, entire schematic so i will double click on this one and after that you can see this is actually going to point out where actually the error is okay so what it is saying unconnected input pin u1 rf so this is basically the ic and uh, this is the designator of this ic which is u1 and it's telling that this particular pin of this ic is not connected anywhere and we have not connected this particular pin intentionally uh, this is actually the a reference pin or analog reference pin and we don't want to provide any kind of you know reference voltage to this particular pin that's the reason we have actually left this particular pin unconnected okay there is already a reference voltage inside the ic okay inside the microcontroller so it's going to use the default reference voltage okay so we can approve this particular error as it's not going to harm uh, to our layout in any manner okay so i will just select this error and after that i will click on approve so you can see now we have zero errors okay and in approve list you can see uh, this is actually the error that we have already approved now let's see the warnings which are available so there are total 13 warnings now let's go through each and every warning So first of all I will select or I will click on this one. So what it is telling? It's telling that power pin IC2 ground uh, power pin IC2 uh, GND1 connected to GND. So what it is telling is uh, this is basically the designator of IC which is IC2. So this particular pin GND1 pin of this IC is actually connected to the ground. So it's basically asking whether you really want to connect this pin to the ground terminal or not okay that's the reason it has given warning so you know whenever you will connect any of the power pin of any of the ic uh, you are actually going to get this particular warning uh, here actually we intentionally connected this ground one pin uh, to the ground of our system so we can actually approve this particular warning so wherever you will get this kind of warning like power pin or this ground pin is connected to ground uh, straight away you can actually resolve Uh, that warning by approving approving it okay so i will just approve this one and again uh, the same warning uh, this uh, this is actually for this particular pin so there are actually four ground pins on this uh, ic and uh, all these pins are actually connected to the common ground of our circuitry or our schematic so we will actually get four uh, errors related to these pins so straight away i am just going to resolve all these warnings so i will just click on approve and after that this is actually another warning and this is again the same warning power pin ic2 ground 3 connected to ground so i will just select uh, uh, i will just click on approve and after that again uh, the same warning which is related to ground 4 so i will click on approve and after that again it's saying that uh, you have connected this vcc1 pin to plus 5 volt so whether you really want to connect this uh, plus uh, this particular pin to plus 5 volt so we want to do it because uh, this is actually the power pin of this ic so i'm just going to uh, select this warning and after that i will click on approve and again we got the warning for uh, this particular 
pin of this IC which is VCC2 pin. So you are going to get this warning uh, every time you connect, uh, you know, uh, the power pin to a specific uh, power symbol. So I'm just going to approve because we want to connect this pin uh, to plus 12 volts. So I will click on approve and then the next one is ACC. So again, I will approve this one. And after that VCC, again, I will approve this one. And again, uh, this is in case of uh, this seven segment display driver IC. So again, we want to uh, connect this particular pin to plus five volts. So I will approve this one. Then the next one is uh, power pin U3 VSS connected to the ground. So again, we want to connect this particular pin to ground. So we can approve this one. And after that, the part D3 has no value. So it's telling that this part number has not, uh, do not have any kind of value. So what you can do, you can right click on this plus icon. Okay. So I will right click on this. I will go to the value and whatever part number you are using for this particular LED, you have to use the, uh, you know, you have to write the part number for this particular LED here. Okay. And later you have to click on, okay. And at this moment, I actually don't have the part number and the RGB LED that I'm going to use, uh, I'm actually going to use that LED, you know, I'm going to procure that LED from the local market. And whenever you get the components from the local market, uh, in that case, you don't know uh, the part number for that particular component. Okay. So in the same way, I don't know the part number for this particular LED, but uh, you can go to the uh, moser.com and there you can check, you know, uh, the part number for the RGB LED. So there you will find multiple uh, LEDs, uh, uh, multiple RGB LED uh, with a different part number. So you can select a suitable part number for as per your application. Okay. So at this moment, I'm just going to click on cancel and this warning is not going to affect our layout in any manner. So I'm just going to click, uh, select this one. And after that, I will click on approve. After that, what it is saying part, uh, R20 has no value. So you can give the value to this particular part number. So I'm just going to click on uh, this plus icon and later I will go to value. And as this potentiometer is going to be a 10 K potentiometer. So I will write here 10 K and after that I will click on. Okay. So this is how basically we have provided the, you know, value to this particular part. So let me just, uh, place this uh, designator properly. So the designator is R20 and the value of this potentiometer is 10 K. Okay. So R20 uh, has no value. So we have provided the value now. So I'm just going to approve uh, this warning. After that, what it is saying, uh, part V, uh, SV1 has no value. So again, this is basically the header and uh, I have procured this particular header uh, uh, from the local market. So again, I don't know the uh, part number for this particular header, but uh, you can go to the moser.com and you can check a suitable part number and accordingly you can enter, you know, part number for this particular part in the value section of this part. Okay. So now let's, let me resolve this error again. So a uh, warning again. So we are done with the, all the errors and all the, all the warnings. Now our schematic, our entire schematic is error free and warning free. And from next topic, which is on layout design, uh, we can start with the layout design of our schematic. Okay. All right. So that's what I wanted to tell in this video. I hope that every single thing that we discussed in this module, all the topics that we discussed are now crystal clear to you. And I'm sure that you don't have any doubt. And if you still have any kind of doubt in any topic of this module on, uh, or in any video of this module, uh, you reach to me and I will help you with that. Okay. All right. So that's what I wanted to tell in this module. Now I will see you in the next module, which is about layout design and DRC error. Okay. I will see you in the next video now.